Welcome to Know Your Mobile, I'm Basil, this is Sony Xperia S, Xperia T and Xperia Z and we're here to compare the three Sony flagships for you. The Xperia S is oldest of the bunch, packs a 1.5 gigahertz Qualcomm, uh, sorry, 1.5 gigahertz Sony processor. It's a dual core processor, 720p display and we really like this device when it came out. The key standout points were the design, it looks really blocky but it's quite masculine, bold. It was a real nice leap of faith from Sony. Moving on to the Xperia T, you've got a 1.5 GHz dual core um, Snapdragon S4 processor. It is a very, very nice looking device, pulls some elements from the Sony Xperia Arc in. It's got a matte backing, nice and rich to the touch, however it does feel a little bit hollow when compared to other devices, we have to say. A real standout of it was a screen. The screen performance was beautiful, it's very nice and superficial, perfect to read on and clarity was very crisp. Now moving on, we have the Sony Xperia Z. The Xperia Z is the latest of the bunch and improves in every single way upon its predecessors. The Xperia Z packs a full HD display that's 1080p with a PPI of 443, which is incredible. What you also get is weatherproofing. This is water resistant up to one meter for 30 seconds. You've also got a 13 megapixel camera around the back in contrast to the 13 megapixel camera on the Xperia T and 12 on the Xperia S, however it is a newer Exmor RS sensor. What's more, it's a quad-core processor that clocks at 1.5 gigahertz. It's got two gigabytes of RAM as well, which means you're going to get much, much smoother performance, even with that extra screen size. Now probably our favourite feature is the fact it's got a 2400mAh battery. It isn't necessarily the largest out there and it may not compensate for the large screen quite as well as other handsets do such as the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Um, however, it is certainly a huge improvement over the Xperia T and Xperia S, both of which the battery lives we found quite waning. As far as the operating systems go, we can see that the devices have had a huge revamp from the Xperia S right through to the Xperia uh, Z. The Xperia S, if we pinch, for example, we'll jump through to the home, pinch, we can see a widget overview, whereas pinching now gives us a home screen overview. And the home screen overview allows us also to add and remove widgets. The um, add and remove entire home screens, do apologize. The Xperia T is somewhere in between, um, with the widget overview still being present, however, you also have something very, very cool in the multitasking mode, which is the option to add mini uh, widgets, as you can see. This was introduced on the Sony tablets and has made a reappearance in here. It's now been refined even further on the Xperia Z with neater animations and a more cohesive look and feel. So there is the Xperia lineup. It all started with the Xperia S. Um, the Xperia S is a fantastic device, still very current. The Xperia T built on it. It did so by improving the processor to a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 processor, improve, increasing the screen size and adding a slightly different design. It's also got a 13 megapixel camera as opposed to 12. However, as far as performance goes, not the hugest difference. Where it really takes the leap is in terms of the Sony Xperia Z. The Xperia Z is the complete revision. Um, it's got, like we said, the full HD display, the improved camera sensor, improved uh, processor, weatherproofing. It's an entirely different phone. So anyone upgrading from the Xperia S will probably want to bypass the T, jump straight to the Z. Anyone upgrading from a T can comfortably do so to the Z. We really like it first impressions. Check back for the, knowyourmobile.com for the full review coming soon. Thanks for watching. Please fire us a comment below and if you like this channel, subscribe.